morning, everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Um, I went to the store about a month ago, and I bought a pot because it wasn't illegal, and I needed something to cook in. It cost me ten dollars. Nice pot. This is the same kind of pot that these nice people that lived here that tortured us had, right? And, you know, I, I'm using it and whatever, so I get this piece of paper, and I'm you know, rubbing, rubbing the inside of this pan, and, you know, because I was using this pan to heat the water, to make the coffee and it was turning all oxidized so I cleaned it and then uh, you see that this is the amount of aluminum oxide that comes off of the pan after one night um, I've decided to no longer use it <laughs> to heat water. Uh, I might not even use it to cook. I, I don't know. Sometimes I try wearing it on my head. And it actually does seem to reduce the, uh, the high frequency. <sighs> Unfortunately, it doesn't fit really as a helmet. It doesn't do much then. I still get the high frequency now, but if you put it over your ear, uh, it reduces it at least. Pretty stupid purchase, I guess. I guess I should have bought something not made out of aluminum. Um, and my question is, if somebody like me can simply, you know, rub a piece of paper on their pan and get that much fucking aluminum, and people who are eating with these pans every day, like I was, <laughs> are filling their brains and their bodies with aluminum, which is what they want, I think, because aluminum it's not good for your brain. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, I haven't had any coffee yet. I had a really rough night. Um, you know, I'm always... Uh, I, I don't... Well, sorry. I don't sleep. You know, I have permanent insomnia now. Thanks to these... The trauma of these watchers, you know, the, whatever they did to us and whatever they continue to do. Um, I do, I will sleep after a few weeks. Um, you know, I get so tired, you just start to fall out. Your body can't uh, stay awake anymore. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. The things that come out of my nose. Oh. I, know, I, I spit all the time. It's horrible. And I have these sores in my head from Morgellons, creatures that they exposed us to. If you look in my nose, you'll see. Am I going to show it to you now? No, I'm not going to show it to you. But if you look in my nose, there's festering scabs and sores and I'm putting ointment and lotions and creams and antibiotics in there all the time it does not heal does not heal and if you pull out the scabs they're usually like you know the size of your a peanut coming out of your nose or something and you look at them with the microscope and you see those little black specks, the ones we all used to have shooting out of us when we got more gallons, the ones we found in the bath water, we found all over the place. Yeah, um, those ones that I found a big uh, batch of 
in the hotel where we lived, stuffed under the fire escape, wrapped in foil and tape and foil and tape and foil and tape, so that the weather would slowly open this package and allow the release of these millions of, slowly over time. Uh, I found the thing and I opened it up. I'm like, what is this? Looks like dirt. Uh, uh, I threw it away. They took it out of the garbage. They took everything out of the garbage that we threw away. I would find it in the garbage later, about a month later, in different... Anyway, my coffee's boiling.